Today we got Warcraft Rumble, which is brought to you by today's video sponsor, Blizzard. In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips to help get new players started in Warcraft Rumble, including what to do at the start of every match, where to place your units, the best way to combine your minis, and a banger tip from the top players in the game. Join the cause. One of the first things you'll notice when playing through the PvE in this game is that every single boss you fight has their own unique abilities. And on top of that, some of them will be accompanied by other bosses with their own unique abilities. Therefore, my first tip is at the start of each match, while the game is still paused, go around the map and tap on each of the exclamation marks to check what each unit does. This will give you a good idea of what to expect during the match and hopefully lead to an easy victory for you. And just a note that you can do exactly the same thing with all the other regular minis in the game by simply pausing the game and tapping on them to see what they do. Where you place your minis is actually one of the most important parts of this game. One tiny change in the position of your mini can mean the difference between total success and total failure. So make sure that when you place your minis, you think about exactly where you put them. For instance, if you're going to use this drake to take on these murlocs, don't put it in between them so its cone of fire only hits one at a time. Instead, put it somewhere like here so it hits both of them. And if you're using a low health unit like the Banshee that can die in one or two hits, make sure you put them a little out of range of your enemies so they have time to spawn and then do their attack. If you put them too close, this could happen. And speaking of low health minis, another important aspect of positioning is to place high health minis in front of low health ones. For example, if you put your Molten Giant here and your Drake here, your Drake will get attacked first and die, and then your Molten Giant will be all alone. Whereas if instead you put your Molten Giant in front of your Drake, your Molten Giant can soak up all the damage while your Drake rains down fire from above. So as important as positioning is, it could be argued that the combination of minis is actually even more important. The combination we just looked at, Molten Giant and Drake, is actually one of my favorite combos that dominates in almost every situation. It's a combination of a single target ground mini and an AoE ground and air mini. This means that the Molten Giant can soak up and deal single target damage on the ground and the Drake can deal damage both on the ground and in the air with his current AoE attack. Basically, the ideal combination of two minis would cover both the ground and the air as well as using both single target and AoE. If you get this combination right, it really doesn't matter what situation the minis come up against, they should be able to handle it. Most of the minis in this game are restricted to being placed in these blue areas around your main base and around other towers and meeting stones. However, there's one type of mini that can be placed absolutely anywhere on the map and they're known as unbound minis. These are super effective in a whole bunch of different situations including dealing damage to hard to reach bosses, dealing targeted strikes on kobolds, and launching surprise attacks all over the map. However, there's two ways to use them that you absolutely must not skip. Using them to take meeting stones like this, and to take chests of gold like this. Using unbounds in this way can give you a huge advantage, allowing you to launch your massive invasion from all the way up here, and giving you access to gold that you otherwise would have to run halfway across the map to get. Just don't try to open chests with the whelp eggs because you might be waiting for a while. 
And my fifth and final tip comes from some of the best players in PvP. Gold management is key in this game. In gold mines, gold usually spawns every 30 seconds, and treasure chests spawn every 45 seconds. So we have to make sure our kobold is placed on time to collect each of them. Also, try to kill the enemy kobold whenever possible. In PvP, there's a lot of tug and war to claim the mines and chests, so they use unbound units to deny kobolds and steal chests. If you're not sure what unbound minis to use, the safe pilot costing three gold and the quill bore costing two gold are the better options. Either of these unbounds are great choices to help you win the gold war and give you the edge over your opponent. So here's two different armies that I've been using in Warcraft Rumble if you'd like to try them for yourself and thank you to Blizzard for sponsoring today's video.